Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build your dream golf simulator in five easy steps. In today's build, we are going to be installing a safe and simple golf simulator for two former Division I golfers in a 12 foot by 20 foot garage stall where garage door railings are currently in the way. For each step in my five step process, I'm going to show you three different methods it can be completed in. Method one involves the pre-made way, which is easiest, but will cost a little more. Method two is the cheapest DIY way, and method Method three is the premium DIY way, which will look the best, but take the longest. Starting with step one, the enclosure. There are three main ways to build your enclosure. Method one is going to be the easiest and simplest way, and that is to order your entire enclosure from playbetter.com and use code GOLFBUSTERS10 to get a huge discount. For this setup, they chose an enclosure that is 12 feet wide, five feet deep, and 10 feet high. A pro tip to remember is the reason the size of most enclosures are only five feet deep is because unless they are built wider, your golf swing would hit the sides of the enclosure if they got deeper than five feet. The base of the enclosure are one inch metal pipes that form four rectangles. If you want to DIY the enclosure, you can order one inch EMT piping and these connectors off Amazon. If you want to build a premium enclosure like this, we recommend starting and using studs and OSB to create your frame. Now a pro tip for you guys, you're gonna want a foot of distance between your wall and the screen. Next, you need to find a way to wrap and protect your frame. If you're using method one from Play Better, it will come with a sort of tarp wrapping that will Velcro around your frame. Once you've completed your frame, you will attach your impact screen using bungees. Most screens will have grommet holes to feed the bungees through, and this is how you will attach the screen to the frame. Next, you will notice there are gaps where the ball could get through. You will be given a Velcro attachment that fills these gaps and protects the balls from going through them. If you are going the cheap DIY method, you can connect multiple of these tarp tarp sidings wrapped around the whole frame, which can look a little janky, but it works. If you're going with the cheap DIY method, you need to order your impact screen, and we actually have a secret email that will get you a premium screen at 50% of normal retail rate, so if you want to get that, email us at golfbustersofficial at gmail.com. Next, for the cheap DIY enclosure, you need to attach your impact screen using bungees and tarp clips since there will be no grommet holes. If you're building a premium DIY simulator, you're going to have built out your enclosure using studs and OSB. Then you'll need to cover the studs. If you want to go a little cheaper, you can go with carpet as long as you're making sure all the walls bounce directly into the screen. But if you want the luxury vinyl wall panels, you can use the video that we're going to link above right now, and that will show you how to make them, and then you can attach those using screws or Velcro. Now, a very important tip for both DIY methods. When wrapping your enclosure, if you are deciding to not go with a pre-built enclosure, then you want to make sure you add on some sort of metal bar or post eight inches wider than your screen opening on your enclosure so that you can attach the impact screen in a way that completely overlaps the edges, otherwise balls will be able to get through. Congratulations, you have completed the enclosure step and now we're on to step two, the flooring. If you want to make it super simple, just order your hitting mat and turf to fill the impact screen off of Play Better. Well, this doesn't look as cool as filling your entire floor, it still does the trick, but one of the things we want to address is where to put your hitting mat if your enclosure is less than 15 feet wide. So the first issue we're running into is because Nick's enclosure and his space is about 12 feet wide, that's going to work, but he's not necessarily going to be able to be centered. So we're going to have to move this over here, which won't be too hard, but we're going to have to do a little bit of problem off on here to get this space to work. Now, if you're going with the DIY method, this is actually very easy as well and looks very clean. All you have to do is order these one inch interlocking foam tiles off of Amazon and overlay it with whatever turf you want. A pro tip here is you can get the turf as cheap as you want because this turf won't be used for your hitting strip. So if you don't plan on putting a lot, I would go with a turf that still looks good, but is cheaper. Or you can spend a little extra and get a putting turf so you can putt as well. Next, if you're using the DIY method, you'll need to cut out a portion for your hitting strip. We recommend making this at least 16 inches wide and three feet deep. To build your premium DIY hitting strip, watch this three minute video, and once you finish building it, you would just lay that into the floor that you cut out. And if you're going with the cheap DIY method, you can just order one of these four by five hitting mats off of Amazon. All right, on to step three, one of the most important steps. Which launch monitor are you going to choose? For those of you who don't know, the launch monitor is the device that reads the golf ball and communicates to your iPad, iPhone, or computer what the ball should do in game. If you want to keep things simple, there are four main launch monitors under $5,000 that people will generally choose from. The Mevo Plus, the Skytrack Plus, the Bushnell Launch Pro, and the Unicor iMini. We will give you a quick synopsis of these devices, but this is a huge decision, so we recommend you watch our in-depth video that goes over each device, which we'll link above right now. In short, they are all very accurate and 
awesome unit, and we have named these four because we don't think you can go wrong with any of them. But to sum it up, if you have lefties and righties and want tons of data, go with the Mevo Plus. If you want the best of the best at a high yearly cost, go with the Bushnell Launch Pro. If you have a tight space and don't want to spend the extra money on the Bushnell Launch Pro, go with the Skytrack Plus. And again, we can get you all these launch monitors as cheap as possible with our discount codes and links below. Now, a miscellaneous step we're going to cover is what to do to remove your garage door railings as they will be in the way for most of you. The most important step here is make sure you consult an expert as these garage doors have springs that can be dangerous if you remove parts without consulting them. For this case, the expert told Nick that his springs weren't an issue, and since he didn't plan on using the stall to park, we just decided to cut off this portion of the railing. You can also probably just unscrew this part, and we also removed the railing in the middle. Next, you may want to screw in the top of your garage door like we did in our place so it doesn't move. Finally, we move on to step four, which is the computer or iPad you're going to use to run your golf simulator programs. Here is a PC we have recommended to others that has worked well and cost around $800. If you are deciding to save money and want to play on an iPad or even iPhone, you can also hook those up to projectors with connectors. If if you're going with the PC route, the software that we recommend that is only $250 a year is GS Pro. So Nick, simulator's pretty much finished. The only other thing we forgot to tell you, on top of the Unicore system, you're also gonna get the best golf simulator software out there called GS Pro for free. That's awesome. Lastly, we move on to the part that seems like it would be the easiest, but actually took us the longest to set up, and that is the projector. The reason projectors are so difficult is because they all have certain distances they can be a way to fill the screen, and you need to make sure it is out of the way of your swing, but also is tall enough where it won't cast a shadow. Here are the two projectors we recommend. One is a little cheaper, and this is the one we use, which is a little more expensive, but is a laser projector. Both are 1080p, work great, and we don't feel like the 4K is worth it as the 1080p image looks amazing and people have always told us that when they come over. Our projector sits 10 feet off the ground and is 17 and a half feet back. These two projectors sit somewhere between 16 to 18 feet and will fill your screen perfectly. And if you don't have room to put a projector that far back, we recommend using projectorcentral.com to find a projector that works for you. So we're just putting the finishing touch is up now and really we're just trying to make sure this thing is as safe as possible so if you notice there's a window back there so we got a room dividing curtain hung that to the ceiling and now if anyone shakes a ball it's gonna protect that ball from hitting the window. Now, since there's only righties hitting here, that should pretty much cover it. We're probably gonna add a little bit of padding on the ceiling to protect from sky balls. And then we'll consider putting a room dividing curtain on the left side, but since mostly righties are hitting here, that may not be a worry. Finally, let's go over the total cost of each method. If you're going with the cheap DIY method, we recommend the Mevo Plus, and you should be able to get everything you need for under $3,000. If you want to make things nice and simple and you go with the pre-built method from Play Better, that's going to be around five to $6,000 depending on the device you get. And if you go with the premium DIY method, this is also going to be around five to $6,000, but it's going to take a lot longer to build than the other two methods. If you're wondering which launch monitor is going to work best for you, we actually have a quiz down below that will help you find the best one for you. And remember, if you're going to get the Mevo Plus, we have a direct code from FlightScope that's going to get you that device as cheap as possible. If you want to get every other device as cheap as possible, use our links and codes from playbetter.com. And just like that, Nick and Mariana's golf simulator is done. If you have any questions or need help with your build, email us at golfbustersofficial at gmail.com and we'll be happy to help. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.